Today we're gonna to be explaining different football formations on this whiteboard. Let's get started. All right, so the first formation we're gonna draw out is a doubles formation. So I'm always gonna draw this like box right here as my center. Let's just know that that's the center. The Q is obviously the quarterback and then a T would be labeled as your running back. Now, the outside wide receiver on the left is going to be labeled the X and then the outside receiver on the right is going to be labeled the Z. Now there are a lot of different things for like slot receivers. I'm gonna draw this at the top of the screen too that this is a doubles formation. But in a doubles formation, they call it that just because it's two receivers on each side. Some people might refer to this as like a two by two formation. But again, it's just outside receiver, outside receiver. Now I refer to my slot receiver on the left as the L and then my slot receiver on the right as the R and they are off the ball. So this would be a doubles formation where we have two receivers on each side and then one running back in the backfield. Now, before we get into some more formations, you guys, if you are a quarterback or a wide receiver and would like to get a custom workout plan made by me, check out that very first link in the description below for our new custom workout plan service. What essentially the service is, is you'll be able to send in film to me. So as soon as you sign up for the service, you'll get a list of instructions. Hey, we wanna see this type of clip on film, you doing this, you doing that, or game film clips, whatever you're most comfortable sending or whatever film you have. And then you're gonna send it to me. I will provide audio and video feedback so I'll be drawing on the screen like, hey, you need to improve here, hey, you need to improve there. And then I will make an eight week custom gym and on-field workout plan for you to follow age specific, workout specific, tailored to the needs that you have at your position. So guys, if you're interested in that, check out that very first link in the description below. Let's get back to this video. All right, so this next formation is going to be a trips right formation. So we obviously got my center here, quarterback here, and let's say the running back is on the right side of the formation. So this again is a trips right formation okay so trips right now obviously this could go trips left as well but we're going to think of it as trips right so we got my outside receiver over here on the left he's going to be the single receiver then we got my z which is my outside receiver and then we're treating it like the l who is the slot on this left side of the field comes over and he's the number three wide receiver so he's the l and then we have the r now again guys this would be referred to as your number three receiver this would be referred to as your number two receiver and this would be referred to as your number one receiver so a lot of spread offenses will run passing concepts out of this that could could like try to isolate specific defenders like for example a flood concept so you could have this guy running like a 10 to 12 yard out him running a flat route and then a fade route over here at the top that would be considered a flood and your read key would be whatever defender is lined up over the r he has to pick one he could sit on the flat route or he could go with the 10 yard out and that determines where i throw the ball but this would be a trips right formation now this next formation you guys is going to be called an empty formation so this builds off of that like trips formation so we got my center and then we obviously got my quarterback now there is not going to be a running back so this is called an empty formation aka an empty backfield that means that there's not going to be a running back in the backfield right so let's say it's like trips right like the last example so we got my outside receiver and then let's say over here you got the l you got the r and then you got the z and then on the left side you would have your t you would have your running back so we have an empty formation now this is very common in like air raid offenses right air raid offenses those are offenses like to pass the ball like maybe 30 40 times at least a game so they come out and empty because again you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities right like maybe they're playing a cover one defense you have a mismatch where your slot receivers on like a linebacker you could run like a quick slant from the running back you could run like a whip route here from the slot but an empty formation is a great formation in many air raid offenses so we're gonna be going over 10 11 and 12 personnel so this is something that you'll hear thrown out by different football coaches different offenses and so the thing you got to understand is whenever it's 10 11 or 12 the first number represents how many running backs there are and then the second number represents how many tight ends there are. So let's draw up an offense. This is going to be 10 personnel first, and then we'll go through 11 and 12. So we have a quarterback. So 10 personnel, first number represents the running back. So we have one running back, but no tight ends. So that means that it could be either trips or it could be doubles formation. So let's talk about what that means. So let's say we got like an X slot right here slot right here outside that would be classified as 10 personnel because again 10 personnel one running back there are no tight ends on the field you could also do a trips formation so the l could be over here so if you're in 10 personnel you could come out in trips or you could come out in um, like a doubles formation so now let's talk about 11 personnel so 11 personnel is where you would have this would be more commonly referred to as like a spread i guess you could say formation in a sense or maybe like a like a spread set in a, in a way but you got one running back and then let's say you have one tight end and he's on the right side so so then your tight end would 
kind of represent almost like a slot. You would remove a slot from the play. So now you have your Z receiver here, you have your X receiver here, and then you have your slot on the left. So that is one tight end and one running back. That's 11 personnel. So now let's talk about 12 personnel. 12 personnel is where you have double tight ends and one running back. So maybe you bring this tight end on the opposite side of the field, whatever the case may be, but that's 10, 11, and 12. Anytime you hear that thrown around, the first number is the running back, second number would be the tight end.